Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk to you about how would you find permutations when you're dealing with all of the objects at one time. So, for example, we have in how many ways can eight books be arranged on a shelf? So remember that when you're talking about all of the objects at one time, we can use the formula n factorial. And in this case, our n would be eight. So we would just write this as eight factorial. And then if you have a calculator, you can go ahead and plug this into your calculator. Um, the factorial is on every scientific calculator. It's even on your cell phone calculator. Um, it's on the TI-84, TI-INSPIRE, all of those. I will show how to do that on the TI-84 and TI-INSPIRE on a different video. So with this, eight factorial really means eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two and times one. This is why we use the factorial and it's programmed into your calculator because it's much shorter to be able to just push the button. So with this, um, the reason that it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one is because once you put a book in the first spot, you now only have seven left to go in the second spot, and then you have six left and so on and so forth. So that's why it is set up this way. Um, so if you don't have this button, the factorial button in your calculator, you would just have to enter eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And that ends up with 40,320 different arrangements of the books on a shelf. Okay, um, the second one that we wanna look at is in how many different ways can you arrange the seating order of students in a class if there are 15 students? So again, because we're dealing with all students, we would do n factorial, so we would just do 15 factorial. And so I would have to do 15 times 14 times 13 all the way down times three times two times one. So I just don't wanna write it all out, but that's what you would have to do. Um, again, if you can find this in your calculator, I guarantee you um, on your cell phone calculator, just turn it sideways to the scientific notation part and you'll um, see X. A lot of calculators have it as X factorial. Um, again, I will show on the TI-84, TI-INSPIRE in another video. Okay, um, so with this, you would be surprised by how many ways, this is a very large number, and you will find that if the factorial gets too large, your calculator can't even compute it. Um, this one was still able to be computed, but it was barely. So the answer to this one is, I'm just gonna write the whole number down, and then I will put my commas in so that we can see. Okay, so with this, if we were to work this out, it is 1 trillion 307 billion 674 million 368 thousand different arrangements if um, there wasn't certain situations that apply. If you're a teacher, you know that there's some people you just can't put next to somebody else. So it may change this number, but that's really how many different um, ways that you can arrange 15 items. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.